Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Nothing But Net, back with another video. And today, I'm going to be doing a, another recap videos of what went on yesterday, big games today, an injury update, and trade rumors. So, let's get right into the video, guys. So, in the recap of yesterday's games, um, the Lakers beat the Kings, which my prediction was right, 121 to 114. Um, let's see who had a big game. Um, De'Aaron Fox had a big game. And Brandon Ingram had a big game. De'Aaron Fox had 26 points, 4 rebounds, and 7 assists. While Brandon Ingram got 21 points, 7 rebounds, and 9 assists. And in the next big game, the 76ers lost to the Trailblazers. The score was 129 to 95. My prediction was completely wrong. I wasn't even close. But TJ McConnell had a big game with 14 points and three three rebounds, two assists. Also, uh, Ben Simmons had a big game with 19 points, and CJ McCollum had a big game with 35 points, 3 rebounds, and 3 assists. And in the last big game for yesterday, the Thunder lost to the Mavericks 105-103. to 103. My prediction was wrong. Paul George had a big game with 36 points, 5 rebounds, and 2 steals. And Luka Doncic had a big game with 25 points, 3 rebounds, and 7 assists. And for the rest of the games, the Raptors beat the Bulls 95-89. to The Timberwolves beat the Heat 113-104. to the pit and the pist and the Pistons lost to the Magic 109 to 107. Luke Kennard had a big game for the Detroit Pistons and DJ Augustine had a big game with 26 points, two rebounds, and eight assists. And Luke Kennard had a big game with 16 points, six assists, and three re and three assists and six rebounds. Carl Anthony Towns had a big game with 34 points, 18 rebounds, and 7 assists. And Dwayne Wade had a big game with 21 points, 4 rebounds, and 5 assists. Larry Markin had a big game with 18 points, 20 points. Wait, Larry Markin had a big game with 18 points, 10 rebounds, and 1 assist. And P.L. Siakam had a big game with 20 points, 12 rebounds, and 4 assists. And that's all, those are all the games from yesterday. Let's get into the next big game. Let's get in for the big games today. Which the first big game would be the Spurs versus the Celtics. I think the Celtics will win. 105 to 103. And I think Jason Tatum will have a big game. And I think, um, hmm. I think DeMar Lamar Lamarcus Aldridge will have a big game. And the next and the next game to for today, the Thunder versus the Mavericks. I'm gonna change my answer and say the Mavericks will have a big game. And I think the Grizz I mean um I think the Mavericks will win and I think Luka Doncic and Paul George will go off. Luka Doncic will have 30 points. Paul George will have 25. And in the last big game for today, the Grizzlies versus the Rockets. I think the Rockets will win. 110 to 195. And in the Thunder Mavericks, I think the Mavericks will win 122 to 120. Injury update, LeBron James is still day-to-day -day with his groin injury, Marvin Bagley is still out, and John Wall is still out for the season. There are no other injuries that I am aware of. And in trade rumors, there is a trade rumor for Jonathan Simmons. I do, I do not think that will happen. I think that is silly for the Mavericks to make a trade right now. And I think 
And I also think it's stupid because they are tanking trying to get a better pick. Jaleel Okafor, no specific team. I don't feel like there's a reason to trade him because he is just... He's not He's not even the greatest. He's not the greatest player. He's not... He's nothing special. He's not making that much money. No, there's no real point there. And J.R. Smith, he wants out. It's not the organization. It is him. He wants to get out, personally. I feel like there's no... J.R. Smith should stay there because... He is, like, the second best player on that team. Third best player on that team. Sorry. And that is all I have for you today, folks. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.